What's up, it's Kelly with 3 Print and Technology. For this video, I'm going to be reviewing some of Greengate 3D's filament. I believe they only produce Pet G filament. They are an American company and they claim to produce 100% recycled filament. I believe that's from plastic waste, different types. I'm not sure of the specifics on those, but that's what they claim. So I have a few different samples and rows of their filament. They got different color filament, but all of these that you see are pet G filament. There's no PLA or ABS here. So it's just gonna be a pet G review. Also, there are pictures of the prints, some of the prints with their filament on our Instagram account at 3 and Technology. You can finally see some more of those up close. So here are some of the samples. We got the clear pet G filament. Got black, gray, red, and part four. This one's kind of clear clearish too. Those are the five I got I'm testing right now. I've used these two on Instagram posts for 3D printing technology. So if you go to Instagram, you'll see these colors. And I'm hoping to use these three soon. But this is what it looks like. We also have some of these in stock on 3Printerpart.com. It'll be the whole rows of filament, not samples. Hopefully samples will be soon. But now we're going to get into the testing and reviewing of this filament. So here is the purple and red filament being printed on the Select Mini 3 printer. Here is the clear row of Greengate 3D PET filament on 3printpart.com. As you can see, it's $29.99, so it's more expensive than other filament. But if you want to pause the video and check out the specs on the filament, you can. So when you search Amazon for pet G filament, here's what comes up. Obviously, this filament is going to be more expensive since it is recycled. And it's not a bigger manufacturer like Hatchbox or Esun as of right now but you got a few different choices and here is the simplified 3D settings for this pet G filament I'm using the mono price Select Mini 3 printer. Surprisingly, this is the same settings that I use for the Eastern Pet G filament, and it worked perfectly. So I'll go through these right here. If you guys are curious. And last three here is the finished red and purple three print on the select menu of the Green Gate Pet G filament. You can see it turned out pretty good. I could tweak the slicer settings just a little bit to improve it, but overall it's a good quality. Anyway, if you like to be on today's videos first, make sure you click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.